to a black farmer, according to him, has his home stolen, um, his animals stolen by a millionaire. Okay, let me go to the first video, here it is. Derek Williamson did ministry work through his church in Conyers, Georgia, and in 2021, Janet Hardy here approached Derek telling him that she had inherited a large amount of money from her parents' estate and that God told her that she was to put it back in the church through his ministry. They both put in money together to buy this property. Granted, her contribution was larger. And then together, they took out a mortgage for the sum of the rest of the property. Now, Janet Hardy was going to continue to pay the mortgage, but in July of 2021, she did sign over the entire property to Derek's business. Here's both their signatures and an official notary. Derek is also the only stockholder of the company. Jordan Hardy here unexpectedly became pregnant, and she also was dealing with substance abuse problems. Derek, who was very close with the family at the time, offered to let them all move into the spare bedrooms on the property so that he could help minister and be a friend to Jordan in this time of need. In exchange for this arrangement, Janet said that she would take on the full mortgage and the utilities for this arrangement. Okay, so you hear the narrative. Uh, this is their perspective. Here's where things got worse. Now, in April of 2022, things started to go sideways. I'm recording all this. Move out of my way. Get out of my way. I'm calling law enforcement now. I'm calling law enforcement against you all now. Unsurprisingly, it wasn't long until the Hardys started gaslighting Derek into thinking he owed them. They felt entitled to business decisions. They felt like the home was theirs and he was just living in it. Derek was trying to retrieve business documents out of that drawer there, but they were trying to make it sound like it was their furniture and he wasn't allowed in it. Unshockingly, when Derek called the police for help, they didn't. In fact, the opposite. Now, after this incident with the Hardys, Derek tried to file a stay away order, but in court, the women all said that Derek was the one who attacked them. Even though there was video, who do you think the judge believed? The judge actually flipped the order and Derek was forced to leave his home. Legally, everything is in Derek's name. Okay, now remember, everything is in Derek's name. Everything is in Derek's name. How did the system get utilized in such a manipulative way? Here it is. Theoretically, even though he wasn't allowed at the property, Derek could have started eviction proceedings to get them out of his house, except for the fact that suddenly Janet and Jay Hardy were gonna file for divorce. Then Jay filed a return of deed on behalf of Janet in order to try and liquidate the assets that he claimed she was basically trying to hide in their divorce through Derek's business. Because of this petition, basically any legal avenues around the property were frozen until it was disputed in court. Again, keep in mind that James Hardy is a professional millionaire landlord, so he knows all the tricks of the property business. He named Derek and his business as third-party defendants in his case against Janet. Now, legally, if Derek didn't respond within 30 days, then it would be a default judgment and the deed would return to Janet. Supposedly to liquidate the assets for the divorce in this bogus charade. Now, Jay's lawyers claimed that they filed this third party complaint. However, there was no court records of this filing. They tried to pull one over on Derek and only gave him a copy of the summons, which means he was trying to trick Derek into not filing a complaint in response and stealing his land legally. Derek finally got his day in court for the eviction proceeding. I'm going to go ahead and skim over most of the proceedings, but essentially what it boiled down to is she threw out the eviction. She essentially told Derek that he had filed the wrong motion, that he was looking for a, a uh, ejection, not an eviction. The judge then claimed that the deed was in question, even though it's never been in question. There's never been any sort of motion or defense that has questioned the deed. So then Derek has to go through this whole process again, filing for an ejection. Let's put up the picture of the young man at the center of this saga. Okay, he actually hit me up on social media. According to Derek's GoFundMe, his animals are like his family, have been quietly stolen, sold and rehomed due to his unfortunate current situation. According to Derek, his former business partner conspired with the Hardys to take animals. My former business partner, zoo owner, teamed up with the Hardys to physically steal my animals 
and all our animal enclosure fencing, approximately 100,000 and built up our new facility with our fence that is now a few miles from my farm. Nicole Kanoi is their primary wildlife accomplice, according to Derek Williamson. Derek posted videos of some of the stolen animals, okay? And also the fencing. Um, Judge Holt, who was involved in the eviction case, had to recuse herself. But later accused Derek of stalking her because she was exposed online. The new judge would find him guilty of stalking the judge who was exposed online. When Derek went to police to request the police reports, he was handed a cover page of the report, but they refused to give him the narrative versions that what happened about what happened in the incident. A woman at the Morgan County Sheriff's Office said that open request records or open open records request don't cover narrative paperwork. After he left, a lieutenant would call him to inform him that the woman for the station from the station gave him misinformation. Okay, let's put up his GoFundMe. Uh, he has a long legal battle. It sounds like it is already hella complex. This is his GoFundMe to help with with his legal effort. He wants people to know what's happened. It's a hell of a story. And listen, there are some other twists and turns. We we don't have enough time to get into every single element of what happened here and what's ongoing. But David, you heard you heard this story. You heard the zigzag of this story. What are your thoughts on it? Well, a couple of things. My heart goes out to Derek because clearly he was betrayed by his business partner and former friend, and then betrayed by her family, and then betrayed by a judge, and then betrayed by another judge and police. Uh, the guy can't get a break. So clearly, he does have a long legal road ahead. Um, and all this guy seems like he really wants to do is take care of these animals, right? Just let yeah. him. He was trying to do the good thing to try to help out somebody who was in trouble. Um, and somehow he had that turned against him. It just seems so unfair. And, and a lot of credit also to, I think it's nerdy, Pink Panda was the woman who did that That's TikTok, right. who was able to sort of splice this all together and op- offer a lot more common sense in dissecting this than any law enforcement or any judge in this matter was able to.